This is Battlefield Bad Company 2 in 1080p resolution running at high settings on this Windows emulator. A brand new Windows emulator has just been launched, which goes by the name Windator. It is completely open source. Games like GTA 5 are possible to emulate upon this emulator. And by the way, GTA 4 is already playable with this emulator. Here, Luis was able to emulate this game with his Poco F3. So, what is this Windator? Basically, Windator is an Android application that lets you run Windows the x86 and x64 applications with Vine and Box64 and Box86 and it was developed by this guy right here, Bruno SX, where he has some of the gameplay footages. Note that these games were tested upon a Snapdragon 888 Plus. It's interesting to see something this big pop out of nowhere, there is just the github for the emulator, from where the emulator can be grabbed along with some other installation instructions that are available on the github page. Like first, download and install the apk file from releases. As you can see here are all the files that you would be needing for the emulator to actually run upon your android device. And then downloading the obv file and placing it into the directory. Then finally launching the app and finishing the installation process. Honestly speaking, the installation steps are much simpler when compared to box64 where you have to like enter tons of command for the termux. Basically here the termux layer is removed and here is the interface and I know that it looks oddly familiar to something like Exagears UI. Anyways it is said that this emulator is even better than box64 droid. Just subscribe this channel and turn on the bell icon cause I'll soon bring a tutorial regarding how to set up win later. Who knows when maybe tomorrow so just hit the like and subscribe button and one more thing Win later, just like Box64, can also emulate other emulators. Like, how about XMU running on Win later on Android? Sounds crazy, but it actually is possible. Now, that's what I'd call something awesome. Honestly, I have high hopes for this emulator, and also when it comes to emulating this emulator upon low end devices, it is still great. Like, you can have a 6GB RAM device and you can easily emulate X32 games, which will still be awesome in my opinion if you ask me and seriously guys i'm really excited to see windows emulation feature upon android devices like there is box 64 now there is this win later that suddenly came out of nowhere and then there will be cassia let us just see how easy there uh, would be the setting up process for cassia emulator basically i don't think so that it would be easier than this emulator win later and I guess it would be similar to uh, win later in terms of the setting up process. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Goodbye and take care.